everyone welcome back to my channel hope you're all well so today i'm going to be doing a red smoky eye look something to go with my hair because it's like the color is real vibrant so i want to go for a vibrant look today but i don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer so i'm just gonna get a start into the look it's the thing about doing my makeup stuff like to go missing during the video <laughs> and i haven't even started to proud my face i'm gonna take my becca paulus primer it's kind of finished but i'm literally using a scrummage of what's left and if you see me looking this way, it's because my mirror is literally right here. But yeah. Firstly, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna take my ABH brow pomade in ebony. I'm gonna use my peaches and cream brow brush to do my brows. When you're doing your brows, make sure to not come to the front of your brows because you want to give it that, that kind of effect. Like you want there to be less pomade there or brow pencil, whichever one you're using and just make it go into your other brows. So it looks more natural rather than it looking extremely harsh because it's just gonna, it's just not gonna look good. My brows love to come out like sisters. Like, I've really tried to get them like twins, but to make my eyebrows a pan but more dark, I'm just going to take my Laura Jello eyeliner. Next, I'm going to take my Morphe M224 brush to conceal my brows. And to conceal my brows, I think I'm going to use Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Maple. There we go. So now they are matching. And to conceal the top, I'm just gonna use the same concealer again, but in the shade Chestnut, which I haven't even used this yet. This has literally just come in the post. You wanna take your time with this step because brows will honestly mess up so easily. So don't rush. And to blend my concealer, I'm just going to take my Morphe M335 brush. Push them hairs back. Because I ain't got no forehead. It's literally so tiny. And then to fill out my eyes, I'm going to take my... Um, Born This Way Concealer again in Chestnut and I'm using this as my eyeshadow base. I'd highly recommend these concealers because they're, even though they're a bit pricey, they're about £20, it's still effective. It's a bit like the LA Girl Pro Concealer, like I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's a bit like the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I don't use the LA Girl Pro Concealer anymore but if you want a high-end brand that's like good quality, I'd recommend this concealer and the NARS one. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer is, I don't know what's in that formula, but sis. And this is exactly why I just spend my money on makeup because to be honest, I'm not really want to spend money on makeup, but if it's, nah, actually I'm lying. If the makeup is quality and like people are literally reviewing it constantly on YouTube, then I'm gonna go buy it, especially if it's good. I will splurge on makeup to like in gum, and that is my toxic trait. Like, makeup can just have all my money. Okay, so to set that, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade translucent. The thing with the translucent setting powder, you think. If you're more of a deeper complexion that the powder may show and it really doesn't like it literally just sinks in the skin so seamlessly so i'm gonna try a red smoky eye look today well i haven't really done smoky eye before like i this is basically my first time attempting to do a smoky eye so hopefully all goes well and to do that, i want to start with my jacqueline hill palette from morphe 
So off camera, I literally just took off the eyeshadow and I'm just gonna start again on the smoky eye look. So I'm gonna go back in again with my Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm just gonna take that into my outer crease. I'm just gonna do windshield motions. Next, I'm gonna take the NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals palette. I'm just gonna take like a deep burgundy right here. Then I'm just gonna take one of my brushes from eBay and I'm just gonna go in with this deeper burgundy shade right here. So now that I've done the second half camera, I'm now going to go into my foundation. And for foundation, I use the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation, and this is in the shade Namibia. Um, I'm actually going to mix this foundation because it's a bit too dark for me. And I'm going to mix that with my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Manners. To blend out my foundation, I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush in 200. To conceal my under eyes, I'm going to take the Revolution C13.5. You can actually leave it like this, like this can actually be like a finished look. But I don't want that. I'm dramatic. Like, I want my makeup to pop. Like, I like my under eye to be bright. I love it to stand out. Like, I love all that. But to contour, I'm going to take my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in the shade CW09.5. I'm going to put that in the hollows of my cheek and not exactly on my cheekbones. Making sure that matches. I don't really have forehead to be contouring, but I'm just gonna contour that. And to highlight, I'm gonna take my bonus red concealers again in chestnut and maple. And to blend out my contour, I'm gonna take my contour cream brush from Beauty Ray and I'm just gonna blend that all up and pat that in at the same time. Then I'm going to blend my concealer out with my Real Technique Pre Blender. I think I want my under eye just a bit brighter, just a tad. So I'm gonna use butterscotch to make that pop just a little bit. And this is the same born this way concealer. I don't know what it is, I told you that guys, I just love a bright under eye. Like I feel like it just gives my makeup that extra glow. To set my highlight and contour, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder again. And to set that, I'm gonna use my Real Techniques setting brush. And to set my cheekbones with my contour, I'm just going to take the Laura Mercier in medium deep. Translucent in medium deep and I'm just going to... To set my contour, I'm going to go with the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Mocha Mummy. And this is just to bronze my face actually. I'm going to contour and then... I'm going to set my... I'm going to bronze then contour. If that makes sense, like I'm just going to put bronzer first, just to warm my face a little bit. And to contour, I'm going to use my Morphe Glamour Bronze and Face and Body Bronzer in the shade Supreme. And to set my contour with that, I'm going to use the Duo Fiber Contour Brush. To 
to blush i'm going to take my um juvia's place to and blush palette volume one and it looks like this and i'm going to take the shade zane and toby i like to over blush as well because i feel like blush starts to wither away along the day but it doesn't like to stay girl i look so warm like i love it to set my face i'm going to take my l'oreal true match setting powder in 9n i believe it is and i'm just gonna do that to set the rest of my face and remove the bake now that everything's all blended out i'm going to take my maybelline matte poreless powder and i'm just going to use that to dust off the bake on my under eye as well as patting it in so that it keeps that brightness just gonna go up now to highlight my face i'm gonna take my makeup addiction highlighter and this is in bronze guys when i say this highlight is so pigmented i literally cannot even use like the highlighter that's in the packaging i literally have to scrape off the lid because it's just so pigmented and this is actually the first highlighter that I've ever purchased since I've been doing my makeup. Which has been about like five years now, six years. I don't ever think I'm gonna change highlighter. Like I might I think I might use the Fenty gloss. Was it the Diamond Bomb highlighter? But apart from that, I'm just gonna stick with this because it just does the job, like and it's literally I think now on the website it's now just 10 pounds but when i purchased it it was actually 15. it's just got the right pigment in it like it's literally so pigmented to set my face i'm going to take the morphe mattifying continuous setting mist and then, oh my god next i'm going to go with my lashes from aliexpress and I'm using 3D16 and I haven't even used these lashes yet, but they look so good. Cool. Look at that. Okay, so I've now put both my lashes on and I'm just going to go back in with my NYX Warm Neutrals palette just to smoke out my under eye. I'm thinking, should I be dramatic? A bit more dramatic and put some bottom lashes. So I'm taking my eBay lashes. I don't think you guys can see it because they're literally so tiny. So I just went in with the ever so faintest bottom lashes because I couldn't do this look without just being a bit dramatic by having a bit of bottom lashes. Next I'm going to take my MAC lip liner in the shade Chestnut. For lip care, I'm going to take my NYX Matte Lip Cream in the shade Abu Dhabi. And just to go over that, I'm going to take my Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. And just to make that all shine, I'm going to take my NK Makeup. Well, the Hair Shop, Hair Cosmetic Shop Lip Gloss. And I'm just going to put that over. I'm gonna quickly go do my hair off camera and come back to show you guys how everything looks. 
and this is the finished look i've done my hair off camera i didn't slay it i will put the details to this hair in the description box below if anyone wants to know thank you guys for watching and stay tuned to my next video like comment and subscribe and take care bye